Welcome back! Hope you had fun with your brand new homemade synth. Right on, so today we got a big project which involves my favorite IC, the 4017. I specially use it to build sequencer. This IC is called a Decade Counter Divider. Okay guys, this is the CD4017, a Decade Counter Divider. You will see it's not that complicated. I'll try my best to explain to you how it works. The main function of this IC is to count from 0 to 9. It will count at a speed given by the clock. It's counting from 0 to 9, and once it's reached the 9, it goes back to 0. Each time a clock occurs, the appropriate output will be set to high and every other out to low. When I talk about high level, it means it will send back the same level as the supply voltage. So if your supply is 9 volt, expect around 9 volt at the triggered output. To work properly, this IC needs to meet four conditions. The first condition is to power up your chip, like every other IC I've used so far. According to the datasheet, you may power up the CD4017 with around 0.5 to 18 volt. I suggest you stick with 9 volt battery or 12 volt supply if you have one. So plug the pin 16 to your positive and your pin 8 to the ground or the negative. Second condition is about the reset pin. In order to work, you must set it to the ground or this IC will never start to count, thinking that you want to apply the reset function. Third condition is the clock enabled. Set it to zero so your clock will be activated. Note, leave the carry out unplugged since we won't use it is the pin 12. Last condition is the clock. You must feed the clock to this IC so it start to count. So you're gonna ask me, where the hell we gonna get the clock? Some smart people will answer. Well, we already built one in the first episode. Yeah, right. Take one of your inverters oscillator and feed it to pin 14. It will serve as a clock. Let's make a simulation here. The clock will trigger outputs only on a positive edge when the signal is high. On the first clock, the output 0 will go high while all other outputs are low. On the second clock pulse, the output 1 goes high and all other 1 are low. The third clock will trigger the output 2 and all other to low and on and on until it reaches output 9 or until the reset pin is triggered. I'll show you later how to use this input to reduce the sequence to less than 10 steps. Let's say if you want 8 step sequencer. It's important to notice that each output will be perfectly synced with the clock. So the best way of testing this circuit is by plugging a LED at each output of this IC and put a 1 kilo ohm resistor in common of all the cathodes. Let's build it guys! Okay, here what I'm doing is the assembling. I place your 10 LEDs on the breadboard so that all cathodes are in common and don't forget to add the 1 kilo ohm resistor from cathode to ground. Once it's done, plug all of your output to their respective LED. Let's say the output 0 will be the first LED of the sequence, the one on the left. The output one is the next and on and on until all 10 output are plugged.
And remember to tie the reset and clock enabled pin to ground. Finally, take your CD4106 module and plug the output of the first oscillator to the clock pin of the counter module. And my oscillator is running with a 10k potentiometer and a 100 microfarad capacitor. This is a good clock to make a visual effect of the sequence. I power everything on a 9 volt supply or battery. Now we see that the pitch control is actually controlling the frequency of our counter. The higher the pitch, the faster it counts. Now I talked about the reset pin earlier, so let's try it. I'm gonna take the wire attached to the reset and put it on the anode of one of the LED. Example, the step 9. What can be cool is to tie up the reset pin to a 10 position rotary switch to have full control over the sequence length. I'll post a demo of this really soon anyway. So today we achieve a 10 step sequencer pretty easily. And for those of you who are interested in building an audio sequencer, I suggest you take a look at the VCO tutorials in the tutorials section. And see you next week.